I've been studying function and dysfunction in terrestrial ecosystems for about 25 years now. I had this dream a long time ago that there was a tribe of people that would come together to restore the earth. And I feel so happy <laughs> to see you all here. Hi, I'm John Liu, and I'm here at the Via Organica Ranch in San Miguel de Allende in Mexico. And here's the second camp for the Ecosystem Restoration Camps movement. And I think this is the model that's going to end up leading to many, many camps. We want to have camps in every continent by the end of this year. So let's go camping and restore a little bit of paradise every day. And it's all of our responsibility, I would say almost our obligation, to start thinking this way, to say, you know, in a small land, I'm going to regenerate this soil. In casi 10 años de la trayectoria de Vía Orgánica, hemos recibido a más de 8,000 visitantes en este proyecto. Eso es muy bueno, porque es un impacto donde hemos podido llegar a estudiantes de agricultura que están buscando identificar su camino en el trabajo profesional. Jóvenes de público general, escuelas comunitarias en zonas rurales, eh, madres de familia que tienen el, pues, la responsabilidad de alimentar una familia, de saber qué decisiones tomar, qué forma de consumo elegir, y también de los niños, que en ellos necesitamos empezar a fomentar la vida de las plantas, la vida de los animales, porque en un futuro queremos que ellos son los que continúan el trabajo. I mean, 60% of Mexico is, is desertifying, so this place is like a model for other parts of Mexico. We've got people here from different parts of Mexico who are learning these skills and they're going to take them home and directly implement them where they live. And here on the ranch, uh, we set this up as a model farm school to teach students and small farmers in Mexico how they can go organic and even beyond organic to regenerative so they can feed their people, preserve the environment. They can start developing what are the best practices or documenting what are the techniques that have been applied in the past and then maybe start to spread out outside the camps. To develop a model of intervention that ensures the structure and the function in terms of being an ecosystem service provider. So that the, when water is flowing through here, the water is not in direct contact with the earthen wall because that's going to cause more erosion. Well, the, all the issues we have with water, soil, biodiversity, approach them in a way that they can also see the solutions that are available. That is the story here in this land, was that it was oak forest and beautiful and lush. They were cut down and then they were overgrazed with cattle and the soil was compacted, the roots were lost, the grasses were lost, and then the topsoil was removed from the heavy rains that happen here. This is a really powerful solution to reverse climate change and to make our future abundant and thriving and beautiful and safe and promising and all of those things that most people don't feel. That's incredibly good for the soul and that's something that the Ecosystem Restoration Camps offers. A healthy soil is uh, really important because not only does it produce the food that we eat, but it also provides all these ecosystem services. For example, it intercepts rainfall and it can absorb that water and store it. Prevents flooding, sequester carbon, storing carbon and absorbing it from the atmosphere, which reduces global warming. And we can heal the land and we can make a difference in a beautiful, regenerative, functional way. We have the opportunity to learn about each other, laugh a lot, not know about each one of us through the hard work and how can we collaborate together. It's been really great to meet so many people who have their own angle on these things and really learn from them. I've really appreciated that opportunity. We have the opportunity to decide if we want to be on a pathway towards sustainability or if we want to be on a pathway towards destruction that comes with climate change. But I think we have to do it together and be a worldwide phenomenon. And we have to teach the young children. We have to have the young children involved. In a way that's also restoring and regenerating our human spirit. We're remembering that land stewardship is a spiritual act, a sacred relationship that sustains our existence. It's time for us to 
think about regeneration. Regeneration of yourselves, of the soil, animals, and your food. And that's what we want to leave to our children. We got to think about what kind of world we want to leave for future generations. Thanks so much for looking at this beautiful place here in Via Organica. And I want you to think about whether you would like to go to camp, whether you would like to join as a supporting member. You can help to grow the camp's movement so there can be camps in different parts of the world. And you can participate in this, the great work of our time for all of humanity to do something to ensure that future generations will be able to live on a fully functional earth. Thanks very much.